Oh God, it really is terrible. This is an Acer Aspire E15, or the model number is E5576392H. You see, this bezel here, okay, just so, because this is supposed to be an educational video, you get it off by pulling away at the bottom of it here and working your way up the sides, and then you can bend the top at an extreme angle to get all of these nasty plastic clips to pop. But here's the problem. Um, this particular Acer Aspire has been brutalized, um, for lack of a better term. And that's why I'm having to fix it tonight. Uh, kind of, it's kind of sort of an emergency because the epoxy has to set. So this, <laughs> you're probably wondering what this stick is that I keep holding. Well, this stick, and uh, there's a reason that I have this propped up this way, this stick is actually the hinge that goes up the side of the screen. <laughs> it's uh, completely busted out of its mount here, and uh, so has the other one. In fact, you may, well, you can't really see it because it's out of the field of view, but this hinge here <laughs> is not attached either. Every single mount down here is completely ripped out. Every mount down here, completely ripped out. In fact, the only thing physically tethering the screen to this actual computer, let me see if I can show this to you. The only thing tethering this mess together is the Wi-Fi and display cables. So it's in a really bad state. Every hinge mount's destroyed. Um, what we need to do is get this fixed, and we need to get it fixed quick. Now the problem is this hinge on the right, the right hinge completely ripped in half. The left hinge is not, but frankly they don't do that much anyway. So my typical approach to this problem is to epoxy the hinge mounts. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh yeah, that one's crumbling, great. Epoxy the hinge mounts back to the hinges and basically just let it all be one big epoxy sandwich um, Hopefully through the magic of editing you will have not had to see me lay all this garbage out what we have here is a Cotton swab sometimes colloquially referred to in the United States as a q-tip after the brand um, This is an actual q-tip in fact Because frankly they're superior to the cheap ones so I like to get a little diagonal sort of cut to that. We use that as a stick for this. This is Loctite Plastic Bonding Epoxy. We have a piece of scrap. This used to be a cheap SSD. These are because of the serious damage that's gone on here. We are going to have to clamp this back together. So these are two large, heavier clamps. These are two lighter clamps. You can get these at Harbor Freight, Walmart, and if you're in the United States anyway. You can get them at a lot of different stores. They're basically cheap Chinese plastic spring clamps. So let's go ahead and just get a big gob of epoxy to work with. I changed my mind. I'm just going to do it in one shot. And I may end up using all this epoxy in the process. Good thing I have another tube in the other room. This stuff's a little hard to get now. Um, some people have told me a good replacement is JB Weld. I will probably one day test some replacements. I actually have a laptop that needs a hinge repair. If you work with epoxy, you need to make sure your area is ventilated. If you can't get the goop off that way, you can put it on the actual hinge end here, which now that I've moved the camera is actually visible. Oh, goody. I can zoom in on that later and feel cool. Okay. The name of the game here is basically you just slather on a whole bunch of this goop to uh, fix the hinge. Everyone needs their computers. This isn't 1994. You know, the internet is a thing that exists. That screw is loose. I don't like that. Uh, and there's probably nothing I can do about it either. But people need their stuff back pretty quick sometimes, and these hinge repairs, um, if you can get new plastics and 
uh, fresh hinges and everything, that's cool. One of the problems is if the model is such that it breaks like this and it wasn't dropped, you know, if it's actually a problem with the way that the hinges are designed on a particular laptop model, it's not going to matter what you do because the hinges tighten up over time and you've got to toughen up the base to compensate. Some people open the hinges themselves and actually pour out some of the iron filings, but I've never done that. Um, I probably should figure out how to go about doing that, actually. And that, you know, maybe that's one of my shortcomings. Maybe my lack of uh, iron filing removal is holding me back somehow, but I doubt it. You can still kind of crack it open um, later, but you will actually need to get plastics. Thing is, if I do this, I put epoxy on all the hinge mounts, okay? If I do this, and I can get it all to go together and stay together, and this is where it gets ugly, get it to stay together, without cracking the screen, of course. Always uh, always a bit difficult. And I may have to use the smaller clamps, I don't know yet. But there you go, kinda, kinda not, not, eh. Oh man, it's just, it's in such bad shape. Oh God, it really is terrible. You can get these alignments here, here. Oh man, that's tough, that's tough, that's tough. Uh, okay, that's as good as it gets. Top stuff, clamp it down with a little weaker clamp to keep it all in place. So there we go. Glue all the hinge mounts with epoxy and uh, hope for the best. As you can see, it's actually dissolving this paper too. This had to be done because the customer needs to pick up tomorrow uh, in the morning. So it has like eight hours to cure before I put the thing back together. And that's just, that just is what it is. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Um, JodyBruchon.com for links to support me so I can make more computer repair videos. The money really does help. Uh, more money means more videos so I can help more people in the future. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Take care.